Hello and welcome to the 17th episode of the Hiatus Review Show. I need to come up with a better name, I just haven't done it yet. Today we will be looking at... Lion 2, the movie. That was a dramatic pause, it definitely wasn't me trying to remember what episode I just watched. With that being said, let's jump right into it. So for my first point, but it's not really a like, I just want to bring this up. So the line, uh... Is in a world where humanity is pushed to the brink, it turns out the most human is a dog. Could that be talking about the gems? Well, you gotta give this, to this one to me, alright? If people can say the Cookie Cat song is a hint towards Steven leaving, then I can say the songs uh, that comments about the gems. I am allowed to say that. You cannot stop me. Alright, so for the first thing that I actually liked, I like the comparison between Steven and Connie, showing how Connie is much more of a normal girl while Steven lives off in his fantasy, whatever. Up until this point, everything in Steven's life was presented to us as normal, like this is just Steven's life and this is just how it is. With bringing Connie into this episode, it's sort of saying, hey look, his life is actually really weird. It may have seemed like it was just the episode saying they're normal, but actually, his life is very strange. I mean, he's going to magical missions, his... his Legal guardians come out of a freaking portal thing. It's weird. His whole life is just bizarre. He has a pet lion. I have like two pet dogs. That should... I have two pet dogs. He has a pet lion. Kind of jealous, actually. I mean, he has a lion that doesn't eat him. That's something. So yeah, I just like that sort of comparison between Steven and Connie. Sort of sort of like, hey, this is Steven's. Steven lives weird. Here's what a normal life in Steven Universe looks like. So for my second thing that I really liked, I like how Steven doesn't really realize how weird his life is. Like, basically, he doesn't know it's weird until he starts hanging out with Connie, and her commenting on how his life's so crazy and magical, and her life is boring. And this, this theme between the two of them is actually, it exists throughout the entire show, and every time she shows up, Especially with Dr. Mahesh Warren, you can sort of see Stephen slowly putting the pieces together that his life is not as normal as he thinks it is. And I definitely enjoy that. It feels very real. Like as a kid, you don't realize people can have different experiences or different lives than you do. And as you get older, you start to realize that. Sort of showing this episode, this show is a coming of age show. It's, it's a, this episode is sort of laying the groundwork of the whole Stephen growing up. And it doesn't look like it does until way farther down the line where you realize that's what's happening. Definitely a very underrated part of this episode. And so for my final point that I've heard I like, basically, I like how this episode is again showing how lion episodes are all about Rose giving Steven something. Steven's lion, you have the of lion. In this one, you have the sword and the cave. In line three, straight to video, you have the tape. In line four, alternate ending you have the other tape which we'll get to that episode when we do basically with this, in the first two you don't really realize that's what's happening because you don't actually the first three because you don't realize lion is roses therefore you can't know that that that's what the whole theme of the episodes are but looking back on it you realize oh hey look in every episode steve rose is from beyond the grave or beyond his belly button giving him something and i really do enjoy that a lot that that consistent theming this show has now for what I don't like, and what you'd expect when you see one episode, anything I don't like isn't worth mentioning. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Basically, there's nothing I can really point to I really dislike, so, because they're all so tiny that they're just not, I don't even think about them, so. I'm sorry, there's not much for this one. This is an onion trade where I have two minutes to talk about what I don't like, I'm so sorry about that. But yeah, that's, that's basically it, I don't, I don't have much for this one. So let's jump into that final verdict, why don't we? So for the final verdict, yeah, I like it. It's not my favorite episode, but I genuinely do enjoy watching it again. It's kind of nice to see Stephen and Connie just hanging out. No magic, no fighting, just Connie as a normal human and Stephen being Stephen, being half gem, half human. It's just nice to see him talking about going to a movie and then fighting for their lives. So I actually lied, it is about fighting. I'm a dirty liar, what can I say? Well, that's all I got for today. I'll see you guys next time for, uh... I never know what episode's coming next, and I'm really sorry. I'm just bad about that. Well...
I guess for one final thing. Um, from the 3rd to the 10th, I won't be home. So don't expect any episodes coming up then. There might be one or two that I can somehow sneak out, but I wouldn't expect any if I were you.